blinking. Good afternoon, everybody at Peculiar Elementary School, which is a slightly peculiar name. I'd love to know the origin of it. Diamond Springs and, of course, the old favourite Three Oaks. Uh, it is not the chameleon talking to you. It is me, James Hendry. And you can talk to us at any stage during this little drive. Just ask your teachers and they will ask us and we will give you the answers to any questions that you might have. Look at this amazing animal here. This is a flat-necked chameleon. And this flat-necked chameleon is climbing very slowly up to the top of the tree here. And he's hoping that he'll find flies and grasshoppers, maybe caterpillars and other insects that he can eat. And he's what we call a reptile. Can you think of any other reptiles? Other reptiles are lizards and snakes and tortoises and turtles and dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were reptiles too. So he's related to the dinosaurs. And of course you know a chameleon is very good at hiding itself. And there you can see he's turned a beautiful dark green colour, very similar to the leaves that he's next to. Now he moves like that, you see how he's moving? Slowly wagging up and down. That's so that he looks a little bit like a leaf. So that he doesn't look like a, um, like a, a an animal moving up the branch. And so he looks like a leaf that's blowing in the wind. And that will hopefully mean that things that want to come and eat him will think, oh, there's a leaf blowing in the wind, we won't come and eat him. Isn't that wonderful? That's a very special little animal to find so early on on our walk. Now lots of the local people out here believe that a chameleon is very bad luck. And so when they see a chameleon, they don't really want to have it around the house. They can often be very scared and it's what we call a, uh, I'm trying to think of the simple word here, something that brings bad luck. They believe that it brings bad luck. Not everybody, but some of the local people out here don't want to see a chameleon and they don't want to touch them. They think they will hurt you, that, will, that they will be hurt if they touch a chameleon and a chameleon really doesn't hurt anyone. They're totally harmless. Wonderful, beautiful creatures. I think he's looking for something nice to eat. Alrighty, we're going to head across to my friend Taylor now and find out where she's going. I think she's going just down towards the south there, maybe in search of some cats.